everybody. Welcome to Storytime. Let's start with the hello song. It goes like this. Hello everybody, hello. Hello everybody, hello. We're gonna read and rhyme and have a great time. Hello everybody, hello. Alright, so the stories I have to share with you today are all about clothes, things that we wear. And the very first one is called Under My Hood, I Have a Hat. And you can see on the cover that she has got a hood and a hat and a scarf on. Do you think it's probably warm where she lives or maybe a little cold? I think it's probably pretty cold if she has both a hood and a hat. And this book is by Carla Cuskin, illustrated by Fumi Kasaka. And right here on the title page, we can see that she has come in from outside with her dog, where it looks like she might have been building a snowman, so it's definitely pretty chilly where she lives. Under my hood, I have a hat. And under that, my hair is flat. Under my coat, my sweater's blue. My sweater's red, I'm wearing too. It must definitely be cold where she lives. And so on the next page, what does it look like that she's doing? Can you see the steam rising up from her cup and from the little puppy's water bowl? It looks like maybe they're drinking some warm milk after being outside. Do you like to have something warm when you come in from the cold? So do I. They're having some little treats, dog biscuits and cookies. And on the next page, what is that that the puppy is bringing her? Can you see? It looks like a scarf. They're calling it a muffler. Did you know that muffler is another word for scarf? My muffler muffles to my chin and round my neck and then tucks in. My gloves were knitted by my aunts. I've mittens too. And pants and pants. And boots and shoes with socks inside. The boots are rubber, red and wide. She is really bundled up in the cold, isn't she? And when I walk, I must not fall because I can't get up at all. <laughs> Have you ever been so bundled up that when you went out and into the snow, you couldn't barely move? But look, she made a snow angel while she was in the snow. The end. So we like to wear lots of things because of the different weathers that we have here in Virginia. And right now we might be wearing a sweater. In the summer when it's really warm, what could you be wearing instead? Probably not a sweater or a hat, right? Unless it's a sun hat. Maybe you wear tank tops or maybe you like to wear flip flops. So I have a song that's called, I'm going to take a sweater. And we will substitute different words for the different kinds of weather we might have. And it goes like this. So if it's really cold outside, we might put on a sweater and then we could sing, I'm going to wear a sweater. I'm going to wear a sweater. I'm going to wear a sweater when I go out today. But if it's really warm in the summer, what could you wear? Shorts? Or maybe we'll put those flip-flops on and we'll sing a verse about flip-flops. Ready? I'm going to wear my flip Flops, I'm going to wear my flip flops. I'm going to wear my flip flops when I go out today. Now let's see, one more type of weather. What do you wear when it's raining outside? Do you have an umbrella maybe or rain boots that you wear? Or how about a raincoat? Let's pretend that we're gonna put on a raincoat. First, we're gonna put on one sleeve and then we're gonna put on the other sleeve and then we're gonna fasten it up and we can sing our song. I'm going to wear a raincoat. I'm going to wear a raincoat. I'm going to wear a raincoat when I go out today. So that's a little song you can sing anytime you're getting ready to go out in the weather. You know, sometimes we get dressed for things that aren't just about the weather. Sometimes we get dressed for things that we're going to do. Like, if I were going to go to a swimming pool, I don't think I would wear sweatpants and a sweatshirt, would you? What would you wear to go to the pool? A bathing suit, that's right. 
So the second book I have to share is called Clothesline Clues to Jobs People Do by Katherine Helling and Deborah Hembrook. And right there on the front cover, we can see that there's a jacket and it's got some stripes on it that look like they might glow when the light is really low, that are reflective. There's a pair of pants that has stripes like that as well. And there's also a hose that seems to be dripping water. Who might be wearing clothes like that? We'll find out when we look inside the book. Clothesline clues to jobs people do. Look at the clotheslines and see every clue who uses these things for the jobs that they do. What is our very first mystery? Uniform and cap, an invite for you. Big bag of letters, what job does she do? Let's see. I see a cap that's got an envelope on it, and I see a bag with another picture of an envelope. And right beside that, it looks like there's an invitation to a party. What do you think this person does? She is a mail carrier. Did you get it right? Good job. What is our next mystery? Milk pail and straw hat, overalls in blue, Plaid shirt, bandana, what job does he do? Who might wear a hat? Is it somebody who works inside all day or could it be somebody who spends a lot of time outside? That's right, I think somebody who spends a lot of time outside might wear a hat. What do you think this person does? He is a farmer. Next. We have oven mitts, apron, recipe for stew, puffy hat and whisk. What job does he do? Hmm. Do you ever wear an apron? What are you doing when you wear an apron? Could you be painting or maybe cooking? Do your grown-ups ever wear aprons? There are lots of different reasons we might want to wear an apron, but we also have a whisk and we have some oven mitts. What do you think this person does? He is a chef. Did you get it? Good job. All right, on to our next. Coveralls, tool belt, work gloves, and glue. Safety glasses, saw. What job does she do? Well, look at all of the tools on that tool belt. Mm, I see a hammer and a pair of pliers, a screwdriver, a wrench. It looks like a level and a ruler. And I see another clue here. I see some boards laying under that saw. What do you think this person does? She is a carpenter. Oh, and finally, our very last mystery. It's the clothing that was on the cover of the book. Heavy pants, helmet, wide suspenders too. Rescue coat, long hose, what job does she do? We have some more clues here than we had on the cover. I see a hat that looks like it might tell us what this person does. What do you think? She is a firefighter. These clothes are all clues to jobs people do. Is one of these jobs just right for you? Do you ever think about all the jobs you're going to do that you might do when you grow up? The end. I have one more song, or actually a rhyme to do with you before we have to say goodbye. So when we wear clothes and we work in them and we go outside and we play in them and we do all sorts of the things that we do every day, we get them dirty and then we have to wash them. So we're going to pretend to be a washing machine. Can you roll your arms like this? Pretend you're a washing machine swishing the clothes all around. And then we're going to go around in a circle like a washing machine does. And then we'll be able to go up and down. And that's all you have to do. Can you do that? Good job. So it goes like this. Washing, washing all around. Washing, washing up and down. Up 
and down and round and round. And now we're gonna go faster like we we're doing the spin cycle. Faster, 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 stop. Good job. So that's all we have time for today. We're gonna go with a goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. We read and rhymed and had a great time. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye.